The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. The Florida A&M Marching 100 Band was suspended following the hazing death of drum major Robert Champion. Since the November 2011 tragedy, an anti-hazing czar has been hired. There are also nearly a dozen new procedures to cope with hazing. When considering all of the measures we have put in place, I believe that this constitutes what I've been saying for the last several months, the right conditions to lift the suspension of the marching 100. The new band director was asked if hazing were still a threat. I'm thinking in time, the culture of the band would change. Students cheered the news. We're back. And the band director posed for pictures with excited band members. We have a different mindset. You know, the band is growing mentally and, and maturity also. These incoming freshmen say they chose FAMU for the historically black college experience. You always wanted to come to HBCU, and so I didn't really care what was going on because I'm not my school, I'm me. Now they say having the band will only make their college stay more vivid. It's going to bring liveliness to the school, more spirit. Hopefully more people start getting involved around campus, you know, so we're really excited. Our freshman year would be amazing. Not having the band has had financial consequences for the university. Fewer people in the seats here ended away games. The band director hopes to be on the field at the first football game September 1st, but that depends on how many students show up and how ready they are to march and play. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Vasilinda reporting.